Ramesses got really angry when Moses asked him to free the slaves. In his anger, he doubled the work of Hebrew slave. Keep working, you lazy Hebrew slave. Ah! If you don't meet your quota today, then you will die. More bricks! More bricks! Who is he? He's Pharaoh's spy. Talk to him carefully. Huh? Pharaoh has Hebrews as spies? You have been away for a very long time, Moses. Are you happy now? They are making us work even harder now. All you have done is make everything worse. You should go and tell Pharaoh that you were wrong. I was helping you. We didn't ask for your help. Apologize. Apologize now. God, I did like you told me, but things have gotten worse now. Moses, go again to Pharaoh. I will make you like a god to him. Take your staff and dip it in the river. You shall multiply my wonders in this land. And by this, they shall know that I am the Lord. I will do so, my Lord. Moses, Pharaoh, the Lord God has commanded you to let the Hebrews leave. Who? The Lord God of trickery, is it? Out of my way, Moses. Behold his power. And Moses did as the Lord commanded. He lifted up his staff and dipped it in the river Nile. Throughout all the lands of Egypt, the water turned to blood. The fish died and the river stank, and the Egyptians could not drink. Another clumsy bit of magic. Fine, I don't have to drink water when I have wine. You are so cold-hearted, Pharaoh. But Lord God has instructed me. I will show you that he is the one true God. Pharaoh, cousin, please let my people go. This doesn't have to happen. Your people are going to suffer if you remain adamant. Some will die. Enough! I am the only God. And then he hit the ground with his staff and the dust became lice. Pharaoh's magicians could do nothing. But Pharaoh refused to let the slaves leave. Ah, oh, God! Pharaoh is not letting the people leave. He again raised his staff and hit the ground. This time, millions of frogs came out of the river. There were frogs everywhere. This time, it was a storm of flies. The cattle died, the land stank.
Bring me Moses. Yes, my lord. Ramesses. Ah, uh, you, you. How long will it take for you to realize that this is God's will? Don't hurt your people any more. God commands you to let His people go. Don't think that you are greater than God. I am the God. If you don't want your people slain, then leave my city. Listen to me. God is sending one final plague tonight. At midnight today, He will kill every firstborn child in this kingdom. You are banished from this house. Banished. If I ever see your face again, then I'll kill you. If only you listened. Father. Yes, my son. I'm the firstborn son. I'm afraid. Don't worry, my son. These are just his tricks. This man is nothing. His God is nothing. Then Moses called for all elders of Israel, and he said to them, "God has spoken to me. Tonight you shall slaughter your lamb and mark your doors with its blood. Do not leave your home until morning. Lord God is coming tonight, and He will deal with your oppressors, and will shield you from the destroyer." When death sees the lamb's blood on your doors, he will pass over your homes. He will not hurt any of you. Once we leave from this town, we must remember this night. From now on, we all will celebrate this night of the Passover. And the people did as the Lord commanded. Ah, uh, what is this? It's happening. What's happening? It's like Moses warned us. Run for your life! Ah! And as the midnight came to pass, all the firstborns of Egypt were struck. The city started echoing with cries. Oh, great God! No, no, my son, not my son! What happened? The death. It has passed us. Thank God. Yes. But pity the firstborn of Egypt. My son. My friend. I'm so sorry. Don't say anything. Take your people and leave. I don't care for anything now. Don't say a word. I will never forget what you did. Just leave. <laughs>